Okay, YouTube. So I'm going to do my newborn cough doctor slash video. Um, this doesn't include my medium size diapers or my all in one size, um, I guess you would say, because I have diapers that um tend to go smaller, but these are all of my diapers that are pretty much made with a newborn pattern or that are just newborn diapers. Um this is my diaper caddy and all of these diapers were in the diaper caddy and ready to go because um, I wanted to try these first. Um, they're pretty much my, I guess you could say they're my favorites, so I put those in the diaper caddy. Um, and this is my scraper that I found at the dollar store for like, um, they had three or four of these in a pack for a dollar. So I have two bathrooms in my house. I have one in each bathroom under the sink, and then I have this one that's an extra, so I put it in my diaper caddy so that I'll have it if I do need to scrape um, poo off wherever I'm at. But for the most part, um, breastfed babies, their poo is dissolvable, or I guess it dissolves well in the washer, so you don't have to do that, but I do that because I'm planning on doing that for staining. I was going to go ahead and get a diaper sprayer, but I've had mixed reviews about diaper sprayers because some people say that it has a lot of backlash, and basically what that means is you can't control the sprayer and like how hard it sprays so it can end up spraying back on you <laughs> or other things in your bathroom and I don't want to do that so <laughs> that just seems unsanitary to me so no um this is let me go over let me get these first this is my um Thirsty's Duo and it came with these two inserts that um snap in together I can't wait to try this one because I heard really good reviews from this one. Um, this is one that I made. If you have me on Facebook, then you've probably seen most of these diapers. Um, I made this one. It's a newborn pattern, like I said. Um, most of these were made. All the ones I made were newborn patterns. And um, it has like this really, this was on sale. This, um, this fabric that I used on the inside, it was on sale. It's like a spandexy cotton suede feeling like it's really cool and I have an insert that matches that so I have that and then I also have this one that I made and this one was really hard because I actually tried double gussets with this one although I love the pattern and it also has an insert on the inside that's sewn in and then I have these it was made fleece it's a fleece um, anti-peel fleece and it has double gussets. This is my first time trying double gussets. I don't recommend the first time trying double gussets with fleece because this was really hard to make. Um, then this is my Bummus Newborn. It has a prefold already in there. This is um, an Econobum prefold that I have stuffed in here. I heard really good reviews from Econobum so that's why I've been using those prefolds. This is another one that's been my favorite since Facebook. And um the inside of this one inside of this one I got kind of creative with. This was an old skirt that I never wore. It's really spandexy soft feel. It's not a normal inside that you would find inside a diaper. But it has an insert sewn in also. So this is like my first real really nice fitted that I made and um, I really liked how this one came out that's why it's in that sack and then I have this sack here that I made that has a rise on it and you've probably seen this one on Facebook it has a cotton flannel inside this is just an old receiving blanket that I had it's a pocket diaper and this is a Celery from Bummus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Celery from Bummus Newborn. And it also has the Econo Bum insert inside here also. So I have that. Then these are my fitted that I made also. Um, these came out pretty good. This was my first fitted that I ever made. This one was like my third, my second or third. This one came out pretty good too. Um, so that's those. And then this is uh, another one that I made that is on a small setting, but it has a rise too.
but I think this is going to fit a newborn just as good. Um, I made my gussets on most of these newborns pretty, pretty small, so that's why I have them as newborns. Um, this is a pocket diaper also. It has a bum genius insert in there. And it's anti-peel fleece. This zebra print is anti-peel fleece. I don't know if I said that, but this is another one that I made. So this is pretty much my newborn stash. I do have two other ones that are Babyland and Baby City. I'm trying I'm gonna try those out, but I'm not in a rush to try those. So those are the next ones that I'll try after I've gone through all of these. Like I said, I'll do these first. Those will be the second ones, and then I'll try my um, Babyland and Baby City diapers that I got off of eBay. But I have, like I said, I've heard mixed reviews about them, so I'm not in a rush to use them. But that's it, and I'll be doing a video on my medium cloth diapers after this one. But so far, this is my newborn cloth diaper stash.